Hey guys, so today we are doing the much requested video of how we met. We wanted to sit down and film this today for you because today is actually a year of me being in Iceland. Um, I have survived a year and we've survived a year living together. <laughs> yeah. This whole adventure of us meeting started in 2014 with a 10-year reunion I had with my some of my oldest and best friends, the Lallis as I call them. And we decided we were going to do the manly thing and go on a football trip. So we flew over to Bristol, I believe. Uh, there we took another flight to Newcastle. Yeah. So we had decided to go there and spend the weekend. And instead of flying back home from Bristol, one of the more adventurous Lallis, he decided we should go to Edinburgh. I've never been to Scotland, so I just thought, yeah, it's a great idea. It's one of the... Uh, apparently more beautiful cities in the, in Europe. I was actually living in Bournemouth at the time and had flown up for one of my good school friends hen weekends. So it was um, a day long <laughs> girly drinking session uh, where we'd been at the spa. So we went from afternoon tea to George Street where we had a pub crawl along George Street and then from there we decided we'd go to this really great bar called the Gilly Doo, which is a kind of Cayley sort of Scottish nightclub. Basically, I was dressed like an air hostess along with all of the other girls, and we were playing different kind of um, daft games that you do on hen weekends. And we decided we'd go to the Gilly Doo because there would be a Cayley on, and of course that night there was no Cayley on. So we walked in, sat down, we were playing all of our games and everything, and there was this group of guys sitting off to the side and they were, well, they were looking like this. Not typically your Scottish group of bearded guys, a little bit broader than your average Scottish bloke. So I did wonder where they might be from, but we were on the girls' night out, so I wasn't talking to the guys. Did you just call me fat? No. <laughs> Broad. <laughs> okay. Uh, we had come to the Sheraton, Hilton Sheraton, uh, settled in and decided to go out for a steak dinner. We went to a bar, a couple of bars, and then wound up in the Gilly Doo. And yeah. I liked the music, so we sat, settled down, had a couple of drinks, and they started to look around for a girl for me, which was kind of ridiculous because we were only gonna stay there one night. But they found this Scottish lass and they walked up to her and they told her to come over and talk to me. I don't know what it's like for you guys, but in Scotland, typically, when you're on a night out, a guy might come over to you and say, oh, my friend really likes you, or, you know, how are you doing, come and talk, come and have a drink with us, or whatever. So we were a bit, kind of, a bit rude when Lally came over and used a line on us. Um, yeah. And we just kind of laughed it off, and he wandered away, and then I felt bad, so I was like, I'm going to go over and talk to them. I was not very happy about them trying to be matchmakers for me, so I told them to, let's say I just told them off and kept on drinking, listening to the band, and all of a sudden this girl came over to me. The first Do thing you remember I, what I asked? No, I don't remember what you asked. I, I just, I came over and I, I said, you guys don't look like you're from, I think I said around here, where are you from, or something like that, because you did kind of stand out. And you said Iceland, and I was like, where? And you, you said Iceland, and I just said, nobody lives there. And, yep, karma has it, now I live here. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so you started telling me about what, you know, what Iceland was like, and you had this amazing romantic idea painted in my head that you were sitting in this log cabin somewhere in the woods, and it was snowing, and you were working away on your laptop, or... I don't know, writing a book, stargazing and looking at the northern lights and, and that was <laughs> I think actually, I fell for all of it. I had actually done that a couple of weeks earlier. The first thing I noticed about her were her eyes. They were beautiful and she was also smiling, which was a good sign for me, I thought. <laughs> and she came over and we started talking. We spoke for, what, 40 minutes? Yeah. 40 minutes, more or less, and then she took off. And so towards the end of the night, one of my friends came over and said, we're going to head out. Do you want to come with us or are you staying with this guy? We're on a girl's night out. You don't leave your girls. So what should we do? And you said, 
you know, let's, I'll give you a friend request on Facebook, so good old Facebook. I sent her a message almost immediately after we had changed, after she, after had, left. After she left. And I thanked her for a good evening, and I was actually hoping she hadn't gone far, too far so she might return, but <laughs> that was not the case, and uh, that was not to be, but uh, we kept in contact. I flew home back the next day, you flew yeah. down to Bournemouth. That night in the Gilly Do, I just, I just knew, and even just saying goodbye to you and being friends on Facebook, I didn't worry that I wouldn't see you again because standing in that taxi queue and my friend said, are you sure you don't want to go back? And I was like, no, it's fine because I know there will be a way for us to be together. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you've got any comments or anything you want to ask, feel free to comment down below or just send us an email. Or share with us, please do. If yeah. you have any similar videos, please show them. And it would be, it would be nice to see them and, and watch them because we love the comparison of seeing how people have met and, and... It is really interesting because the world is so much smaller, especially with the internet now. So it would be really cool to find out your stories as well. We will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye guys!